Hey kids, today we're going to do some soccer skills. Uh, I'm going to teach you the basics of passing and maybe some other things. Let's go. Hey, so the first thing is we need to have a ball. And I realize you guys may not have a soccer ball. You could use any type of ball you have. Um, I would not use a beach ball or a balloon or something like that. In worst case scenario, it's not great, but you could use a bunch of bags tied up and rolled up together. A bag's not gonna run away from you um, and you can work on the technique. So uh, we give that a try. I have a soccer ball, so I'm gonna show you using a soccer ball. What we're gonna work on is the uh, side of the foot pass today, which for younger students is really hard to get used to. Um, for older students, you may learn a few things, a couple of tips and tricks that I have uh, to make you a better soccer player, be able to pass it better. So the first thing I want you to do is look at the foot and you want to use the inside of your foot here, okay? We also use the laces, and when we shoot, that's called an in-step drive. But today we're going to be focusing on the side of the foot pass. And I want you to look at my two feet. The plant foot and the kicking foot need to be perpendicular to each other. So it should look like this. This is my plant foot pointing at my target here, and then I'm going to kick with the side of my foot. So I'm going to lock my ankle this way. So four things I'd like you to think about is the plant foot should be beside the ball pointing to the target that you want it to kick it to. If you wanted to kick it over here, you'd point your foot a little bit sideways. But for our purposes, I'm going to go straight ahead. The next thing is I want your weight over the ball and your knee of your kicking foot over the ball. Okay? So we are not behind it. I'm going to show you a side view. Plant foot should be beside it, not back here. That's for a different type of kick. Uh, so, and then our weight should be over the ball with my knee, my kicking knee, over the ball as well. If I'm behind it, the ball is going to get air, and that's a different type of pass. So, one, plant foot beside the ball, point at your target. Number two, knee over the ball. Number three, and probably the most important, maybe not, a locked ankle. This should be firm, it should not be floppy. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that really firm. And number four, eye on the ball when you kick. So, when I approach it, I'm gonna be here, legs bent, weight over the ball, and I'm just gonna kick that way. With a firm ankle. Here, good. And notice how I trap it. A trap is a stop. It's the opposite motion of the kick. Basically, I'm cushioning the ball, pulling it back. So with my other foot here, good. And what soccer players do when you're practicing, we like you to be on your toes, okay? It keeps you loose. In a soccer game, if the ball comes, you can change directions real quick or if it hits a clump of grass or somebody's foot, okay? So here's a good drill. Uh, I'm practicing against my porch. You can do the same thing. I'm going to move a little closer so you can see the ball and my feet, but not my head. So you can be here and then just touch it against the wall. Touch it against the wall. You can stop it each time if you're a beginner. Stop it and freeze. And if you look at my weight, it's over the ball. My knee's over the ball and I'm, my toe is pointed at my target. So we always want to do that. We take it slow in the beginning. Okay, nice soft touches on my toes so I can move. And then as you get better, you can move back a little bit further. Give it a little more power. Okay, and stop it that way. Excellent job. Okay. Obviously, if you have a partner, a friend, a family member, you can pass back and forth in between each other. That's super fun, etc. But this is a really, really, really good way to practice, especially if you're a beginner and you have nobody else to practice with. Okay? Take your time when you're learning this. Um, all skills in the beginning if you're a brand new learner, even if you're older and it's a brand new skill you're learning, all of the technique that you learn is neurological in the beginning. So you don't want to have to break a bad habit later, so you want to learn the proper skill right now. I'm going to show you a couple drills that you can do with the ball to get your foot, get your touch on the ball. This is what we do as soccer players. We talk about getting a good touch on the ball. Um, so I'm going to show you here. 
there's several different things you can do. So foot on the ball, start with one foot on top and beginners just touch. My knees are slightly bent, which is good. Okay. We don't want to be straight legged because this will give us uh, a chance to be more mobile, to be more active and to accelerate sprint, change directions, whatever we need to do. So this is the beginning step and I'm just touching the ball. Now I'd like you to try this. Barely touch the ball and you're going to jump straight up and you're going to switch feet. But you're not stepping on the ball, you're barely, barely touching the ball. So you're going to hop and switch just like this. Now I'm touching the ball ever so lightly. My arms are swinging, which you can't see. And that allows me to get good control on the ball. Okay. Next step, start with a foot on top. And now if you're good, you can hop in a circle and go around the ball. If you go one way, make sure you go the other. Good job. A couple of other advanced skills that you can try. Start with the ball at your foot. If you're a good player, you've been experienced. You can drag your foot over the ball and you can drag it back. We'll back up so you can see it. So notice I'm facing my opponent. The ball's on the outside foot. I'm going to pull it over and then stop with my inside of my other foot, pull it over, stop. And if you notice, I'm taking a small hop in between. Here's my hop, and then I get it on my other foot. Hop, good, good. You can't see it very well, but my arms are bent, and that's a really important part of being fluid. Excellent. Hey guys, there's some basic soccer skills. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to teach you some other ones, please leave it in the comments and we'll go from there. Have a great day.